Hey guys, Kevin Getz here from Youth Profit with another free YouTube lesson. Today we're going to be exploring what is, in my opinion, the most useful chord in all of metal. It's the second inversion. In the case of an E minor, it would sound like this. Dropping down to the D major. I'm sure you've heard that used in a lot of melodic metal contexts. Things like melodic death metal, um, occasionally power metal. Recently, progressive metal has been incorporating this a lot. And this is a really, really good chord. You can basically think of forming it like, um, again, before I get too far, uh, seven string and standard tuning. So if you're playing just an E power chord on the fifth string of the low B, leave these two fingers down, but jump your index finger, and you've got an E minor. The theory here is a power chord is composed of the root note, the fifth, and the octave. And if you wanted to add a bit more harmony without stressing your fingers too much, what you can do, since you actually have two repetitions of the root note, you've got it as your root and as your octave, you can treat the octave like the root and use your index or middle finger to play a minor or major third, respectively, um, up above the root. So now we're looking at fifth, root, third. Instead of root, fifth, octave. And of course, since that's a minor third, if you wanted to change it to major, all you'd have to do is put your middle finger down and place your index finger. Now, why do I call this the most useful chord in all of metal? Well, it's, it's for multiple reasons. First off, in my opinion, this is by far the most comfortable way you can possibly play a chord that includes a third. You're basically taking the comfort of a power chord and adding an actual major or minor designation to it. Second, it retains this. That, you know, they're called double stops sometimes. Um, Technically, if you want to call it by chord title, it would be called a fourth. It's what gives the power chord its chuggy sound, mostly. So, by retaining that and adding a third, it combines the heaviness of a power chord with the melody of something that has a third, which a power chord does not. This is not to say that there aren't other melodic chords that you could be using as well, and we'll get to all of them at some point. Um, for now, this is just to say, if you want a standard way to keep a bit of heavy and also introduce a bit of melodicness to it, this is the chord that you should really be looking at first. That's going to be it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to help me out, the best thing you can do is leave a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a note in the comments, and... I think I'm going to leave you guys with a song example that uses what we've talked about here. It's just a verse section. It features some basic palm muting and interspersed among said palm muting, there is some work with this chord. So you can hear how it all lines up among instruments and in a full arrangement. All right, I will see you guys next time.